So we know that not all patients are the same. And so what the doctors and the scientists have been trying to do is trying to work out ways that we can separate patients into different groups and decide which treatment a certain patient should have. So we can do that based on their age, but also based on different scientific um, results from the different tests that we take when we see a patient. So a biological marker is a marker that helps us to identify exactly how a myeloma patient's disease may um, respond to treatment. It's a test that we'll often do either from the blood or from the bone marrow and it will um, give us an idea about whether a patient may respond to a treatment or not or indeed how well a patient may do with their myeloma therapy. So at the moment when a myeloma patient presents, we would um, try to characterise them and try and identify exactly what their kind of myeloma they have. And we do this by talking to the patient, but also by doing a number of laboratory tests. So that might be a bone marrow test, where we could look for very specific markers um, of the myeloma within the plasma cell. And we often call these genetic markers, and the test that we'll do is often called a FISH test. Sometimes some of the brand new techniques that are performed include um, different tests where we can look at specific genes and we can look at abnormalities in those genes. These at the moment tend to be done in the big research centres and tend not to be widely available because at the moment we're still trying to really characterise these and identify what exactly they mean. In lots of large clinical trials now, we've um, been able to characterise the different abnormalities in myeloma patient cells. And we've been able to um, group these patients into patients who may do well with treatment and patients who might um, do slightly worse with treatment, so may not be on the best treatment. And so we tend to group patients into two groups and some of the abnormalities, such as a translocation of a 414, that's a special test that we would do with a FISH test, those patients may respond particularly well to bortezomib or Velcay treatment, whereas um, other patients, for example, patients who have a deletion of a particular gene called 17P, those patients may not respond so well. So by doing these different tests, we can hopefully identify which patients will respond well to a drug and which patients maybe won't respond so well and so therefore should have a different kind of drug. We've been able to um, identify lots of different markers um, that will give us some clues as to which drugs work best for different patients. And now we've got many what we call targeted drugs which are drugs which will specifically work on a specific kind of myeloma. And so an example is a drug that was originally developed for melanoma, the skin cancer, and not a number of patients with myeloma actually have the same abnormality as those patients that have melanoma, the skin cancer. And so what we've been able to do is to use the melanoma drug to treat myeloma patients. Now it's only a small percentage of patients that have that abnormality, but we're beginning to get more and more abnormalities that we can identify and therefore more and more drugs that we could use specifically for different kinds of patients. So what we're going to have to do is to really work with the laboratories based in our hospitals because at the moment we'll often choose a treatment and say we think this is the best treatment. But what we're going to have to do is just as the moment we maybe send our full blood count off to the lab or our kidney test off to the lab, we're going to need to develop a whole infrastructure in the lab that's able to characterise these different abnormalities so that when we maybe do a bone marrow, three days later we know so much about that patient we can say this is the best treatment for them. So we need to start a good dialogue with our laboratories to make sure that they're capable of doing these tests to really help us direct our therapy.